So Atwater Brewery was originally commissioned in 1997. Uh, the whole premise for it, uh, bring back the bohemian style lager that Stroh's Brewery started making in Detroit in the mid 1800s. So we're very proud of our German style heritage you know, with our pilsners and lagers. I'm a little bit of a malt bitch, so coming from the west coast, which was uh, all over hopped ales coming out here to find a traditional big malty lager was uh, was right up my alley. It's literally the beer that brought me here. We still maintain the German brewing calendar, so we run a Maybach, Oktoberfest, Winterbach. German equipment is set for lager tolerances, so lagers uh, require a very clear wort, which gives you a very uh, complete fermentation. We have our main facility, which is uh, located a block up from the Detroit River. We also have a, under the Atwater in the Park nameplate, which is a beer garden tap house project. We actually uh, reclaimed and renovated a, an old church, put the uh, brewing equipment up on the altar, uh, and, and re reclaimed all of the pews as seating and made the bar out of it. We had been looking at a space to reclaim, really bring a little bit more of our Detroit Rivertown Brewery to some other areas. Uh, this is a great concept because it brings together a lot of our German tradition with the food that we offer here, uh, our great beers, and then we also use it as somewhat of a test kitchen. So at any given time, you'll have 10 to 12 beers that aren't available out in the marketplace that you can come here and sample. One thing about Atwater's, uh, we're pretty much synonymous uh, uh, kind of for the Detroit attitude, I guess is the best way to say it. If we drink all we can and sell the rest, our logo has a, a hard-working blue-collar guy with a hard hat on, you know, raising a beer after the end of a, of a hard, hard-working shift. We live and breathe craft beer and to be able to sit down together and just enjoy you know the finished product together I don't think you can beat that I don't know what's more Detroit than you know putting your hands into something and then enjoying it after the one thing that we believe is craft beer it's handmade it's 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 tough it's hard it's uh, for the working people this means getting your hands dirty being part of it being part of a community that says we respect what we do and we respect how we do it